I've had detailed discussions with the, dream, with the Boeing team on this matter and our engineers are continuously in touch. These incidents are not unusual in a new fleet, in a new aircraft and everyone is trying to adjust to the new machine that has uh, been introduced in the world fleet. There have been no safety issues involved in these incidents and both the Boeing as well as the DGCA has looked into every incident and has assured that there was no safety aspect involved in any of the incidents. To that extent, we are reassured. As far as the incidents are concerned, they are basically related to either software or some small technical matters. Our engineers are fully competent to handle that. The Boeing company at the moment is upgrading the software of the planes that uh, we had received till December last. Since then, most of the fleet has now been upgraded and the number of incidents are gradually coming down. Uh, as per the information that has been provided to us by the Boeing people, our dispatch reliability of Dreamliner is 98.6%, which is just below an old and a very mature fleet of 777s, which is considered to be one of the finest planes in the world and therefore it is gradually inching towards that ideal that we should be achieving. The world average of uh, dispatch reliability of a Dreamliner, I have been told, is about 98% and Air India's average is above that. As far as the grounding is concerned, Air India has got no such plans as of today. It is basically only for the regulators to take a view on this matter, but uh, we are quite satisfied with the quality of service that we have received from this plane its economics and therefore they, for us we have absolutely no plans to either discontinue its operations or to ground it. But also by the Boeing who judge this all over the world on the same parameter, it's D plus 15. As far as the fuel efficiency is concerned, when Air India received these planes, even at that time we knew that the planes are heavier than what they were originally promised to be, everyone knows that. And at that time also we took a decision that there will be a committee which should, shall be set up consisting of uh, people from the government, from the airline and from Boeing, who over a period of 18 months will collect data and then analyze as to what is the deviation from the originally promised fuel efficiency that was made to us by Boeing and we shall decide upon the compensation packaging uh, after that. So that meeting, that, that uh, committee is working and uh, we are interacting with each other, collecting data. The 18 months will be over sometime only in the month of November. As far as bilaterals is concerned, I don't know what we were expecting, but uh, I can assure you that Air India is quite well prepared to handle the bilaterals. The bilateral regime was opened about 10 years ago when uh, grants, uh, uh, when certain rights were given to the Gulf carriers, and Air India has survived that onslaught. You talk, call that an onslaught. I think that this is competition which is bound to happen over a period of time. There is no escape. The era of, of protectionism is over, and uh, the mere fact that during the last couple of years Air India has been able to do substantially well th than it what it did earlier only shows that uh, the problems lay not in the bilaterals but in other issues and uh, we hope that our entry into the star will help us in, uh, in countering this.